Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing? I hope you're all okay and staying safe and well during this zombie apocalypse. This is the face of a man that has not got a jar of glue what he is doing. I believe I am in what they call a regional disaster centre. I believe. I ain't never been in one before. This is new to me. Completely new. And, well, apart from getting lost already... <laughs> and then being told to take an empty trailer and picking up one that was loaded. <laughs> oh, not my fault, though. The shunter. The shunter said to me, I'll get you an empty trailer. I was like, right. I went in and the guy said to me, you need to pick up an ambient decker. <clears throat> He might, have been, he might as well have been telling me to pick up a Swedish meatball. I didn't have a jar of glue what he was going on about. Wow, uh, what's an ambient decker? Ask a shunter! Right, that's an uh, easy enough answer, I suppose. I shall go and do that. So I went and asked the shunter and I said, Hello, Mr. Shunter, can I have an ambient decker, please? And he said, There's one on 106. I mean, I've been told to come to the front. I'm... I'm I know, I know what the front means. I know the front means, you know, go to the front of the building. But where the front of the building may be is anyone's guess, really. But this, this looks like that thing that I've just got under that was full. As long as it's not got one of them big, daft, noisy refrigeration units on the front. Please don't. Please don't, or else I'm chuffed. Oh, it has. Sugar. That one ain't, though. No. Aha! Very spec. No, no. No, no, I can have that. If that's empty, I can have that. I think. Anyway, probably get shouted at. It'll probably be VOR or something. Well, let's, let's go and have a look. I'm not allowed a front camera on in this, I'm not risking it. Um, I don't think that I'm allowed to uh, record front camera in here. This is just laziness, this. I'm not even getting out. I'm, I'm, I'm literally driving up to the back of it. This is just pure laziness, Gareth. Right, he said if there's empty cages in it, it doesn't matter. Well, there's empty cages in that. Do you want me to show you? Just in case you've never... Oh, gold. Right. That's what I'm looking at. Edge just nearly fell off my GoPro. Good grief. So, rumour has it, I'm going to Doncaster. Rumour has it. And I've also been told that I'm not allowed to use a sat nav. I get given a map and I have to follow the map. And I believe that's to keep me away from them things that trains go over I believe so I've just been told anyway right that's no lock on it or anything I'm having it how I'm going to get it out of this gap ball is well it's beyond me I, am, I ain't got a jar of glue I just I, do, I just don't seem to fit in very well here plus I've got my beacons blurry just to let everyone know that <laughs> That I'm not one of them. <laughs> right, come on. Oh, this frigging weather as well, man. Seriously. Oh, that's a nice unit. Oh. Oh, that was well pretty. That was. Right. How are we up? How, how are we now? Hundred and. 120, that's good enough for me. We're in. Bloody hell fire, we're definitely in. Quite claiming for whip, watch with that one. Right, let's give it a tug test. God almighty. What an absolute kerfaffle. I've been in work um, an hour and a half now. <laughs> and I'm still finding myself a trailer. <laughs> oh god. Oh. I hope I get more than just this Doncaster thing. 
I need more hours than that, don't I? You know what I mean? Anyway, um, I'm not going to record outside because, well, it's absolutely nailing it down, as per usual. All it ever does when I'm around. Can you hear it? Leathering it down. So, we'll hook up to this trailer and, uh, well, fingers crossed that... Fingers crossed it's actually working and I'm allowed to use it and take it and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know whether I've got to get loaded. I don't know whether I'm going empty and doing a trailer swap or what. I've no idea. But this is one Mahusive trailer. Um, check me out on Instagram at DD2012. I'll put, I'll put a picture on so you can see what it is. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I'm sick of getting wet, man. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit when hopefully, hopefully it's sunshine and it's about 92 degrees. Fingers crossed. I swear to Lord Jesus and the sacred goat, I'm not coming back here again. I've had enough already. Oh, man. So I don't know what I've just, I don't know what I told you in the intro, and even though it was only like literally five minutes ago. I got told I needed an ambient decker. Now, like I say, ambient decker, not a majority glue what that one. Don't know what an ambient decker is, no idea. Never done it before, no idea. So I asked a shunter, and a shunter said, um, yeah, this is an ambient decker. Uh, take this one, I'll unlock it for you, and you can have it. You can take this. Brilliant, thank you. I'm not gonna lie, this trailer is absolutely ginormous. <laughs> so, I guess myself, said ambient decker. I couple up to it, ain't got a jar of glue where break is. Work trailer brake is. So I asked have someone work trailer brake where I was like, where's brake on this? I can't get it moved. Seriously, I don't know where it is. Not in the normal place. It's underneath the airlines. <laughs> Blew my mind. Don't know. So I messes about, gets it all coupled up, pulls it off the bay, realises it's full and I need an empty one. Brilliant. So let's reverse, <laughs> reverse it back up there. <laughs> it's that one there. That, well, you can't see it, can you? It's that one there. Puts it back up there. I think this is what I need. That's coming. You can't see, can you? I'm not allowed a front camera. So, puts it back up there. Drives around. Picks this one up. They've just had a. They've just had a changeover in office just now. It must have been seven o'clock. They must have done a changeover at seven or half past. I don't know. Yeah, I think I need one of them. Um, and I went in and I, he said, right, what's your trailer number? I said six two one zero zero zero. He said. That is ambient decker. And I went, yep. He went, you need frozen fridge decker. I went, he's just told me I'm going to Doncaster and I need an ambient. No, Doncaster, it's frozen RDC. I was like, great. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. I'll go for another drive, shall I? So that's what we're doing. And I do believe that I pulled this trailer from the side of a refrigerated decker. I'm guessing decker stands for double decker, as in tasty chocolate treat that I would love to eat right now because I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm starving, man. And did I tell you it's Sunday? It's Sunday the 27th today. Right, see, there's, there's, a, there's, a, double, there's, there's a double decker there with Tesco on the side of it. Just in case anyone didn't know who I was working for, I could perhaps take that one. But then again, I have literally no idea about refrigeration vehicles and whether it needs to be on or not, whether it needs fuel or not. I ain't got a jar of glue, it's all new to me. And to be quite honest with you, I don't really fancy Trying to reverse this back into that gap. 
I think I might put it down there. I think I might do a little bit of a... Should we do a little bit of a spin it? Put it down there. You shop, we drop. That's a, that's a fridge one. Maybe I could have that one. It's a double decker. Should we try and spin round now without leathering that? God's sake, man. You couldn't make it up, mate. You couldn't make it up. Oh, dear, dear, dear. This trailer is absolutely humongous. It is huge. Jeez. And the, there is just trailers packed absolutely everywhere here. Anyway, I'm gonna cut you loose while I try and figure out what the hell I'm doing. Because that, that fridge isn't even on. So I don't know whether I can use it or not. Because I'm guessing I need one where the fridge is working. I don't even know. I think I'm just going to take that. There's no lock on it. I'm going to have that one. I'm taking it. I'm going to park this one here. Right on corner. I'm going to park this here. And then I'm going to go and get myself that fridge trailer. And the next time I talk to you will be in daylight, my friends. So I'm, I'm sorry for waffling. I do apologise, but... I wanted to let you know what was happening in the world of, um, you know, regional disaster centre. <coughs> bloody hell, fire, that thing's just shot at me. <coughs> bloody hell, good grief. Oh, trying to chop me. Right, this is staying here. Right, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Have fun, take care, peace out. Be back in a back, back in a while. Okay. on the road now for one hour and 50 minutes we're just coming off the m18 whatever junction this may be the a6182 uh, first exit here that said roundabout thought i'd take you in with me why not because i ain't never been here before so it's a learning experience for me this sun someone has definitely paid their electricity bill because this sun has absolutely smashed my face in the entire way here. I really need to invest in some sunglasses, I think. It'll just make me look like a bigger penis than I already am. No, that's, that's the issue with sunglasses. I, I just don't, I don't suit sunglasses in any form, shape or way. God, I've got a funny shape, fod man, you know what I mean? But, anyway, I hope you have all had a brilliant Christmas and I want to wish personally well 
I suppose I can't do it personally, can I? Videographically. <laughs> I want to wish every single one of you all the best for 2021. Sounds really cheesy, but you guys have made this year amazing for me. This has been one absolutely ridiculously year. This has probably been the best year of my entire life for a number of reasons. Uh, I'm not actually going to go into the reasons because I've had some ups and some downs. I've had some ins and some outs. Um, but the downs have turned into ups and the ups have carried on going up. So it's been absolutely fantastic and a big part of that is down to you lot this absolutely ridiculously loyal subscriber fan base kind of thing that i seem to have going on the same people that come into my live streams every weekend the same people that like my video thumbs it up every single time the same people that follow me on instagram you know it's unbelievable they like you like Leeds fans. So loyal. It's unreal. So yeah, I want to I thank you guys anyway. I want to thank you all. I bet you can't see anything because it's sunk, can you? I told you, someone's put some money in me to. It is right on, that is. It's an absolute blinder today. <laughs> Trying to keep sun out your eyes, see? This is dedication, this is. I'm looking after you, you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope you've had a, I hope you've had a good Christmas, and I hope uh, 2021 is absolutely fantastic for every single one of you. Chin up, people! Come on, we're all men here. Chin up! Oh, pizza up! Yes, please. Oof. It's nearly time for um, said meal number one. I'll, I'll show you what it is. Why we stopped here at traffic light? It's really quick, just so you know. Meal number one. Oats. Oats and protein, meal number one. That's gonna be somewhere around between 10 and half past. So Christmas anyway, what happened to me over Christmas? Um, I don't like, I think I've, I've told you this before and a lot of you probably know it, I can't stand Christmas meat. Um, I don't particularly know why. I don't know the exact reason. I know I lost my granddad on Christmas Eve night. Um, I have explained this before. The, uh, the tradition at my nan's was to put Christmas decorations up and everything on Christmas Eve. That's how they did it. Put it all up at Christmas Eve and everything. Do everything Christmas Eve night. Go to bed. That's how their Christmas is played out. My granddad put the decorations up. Everything was fine. No issues, no dramas. Probably had a little tipple, maybe. And then went to bed and didn't get up. Didn't get up Christmas Day morning. Maybe it's that that's done it uh, maybe that it's the fact that it's just you know a big money making scam maybe it's all about the kids yes I know I know it's all about the kids but you know it's, you see you see a lot of kids being given uh, gifts that they they don't oh, no, this is your captain speaking Jesus yeah, you see uh, kids being bought a lot of gifts that... Morning. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah, how many, how many gifts do kids get bought that they actually don't like, that they're not interested in? Not me. Wait a minute, is this it here? Because Satnav's telling me it's there. I suppose if I look for... Ah, uh... oh, we're here. Yeah, maybe it's that, maybe it's just that I don't buy into all that spending ridiculous amounts of money. Because I, I like my money being in my pocket, you know what I mean? I don't like it being in other people's pockets. Doesn't work for me, that. Uh, right, what are we going on here? All vehicles, suppliers I'm going in here. This, well, this is, this is brand spanking new to me, this is. Supplier, oof, good grief, Jesus. Jesus Mary and a sacred goat. They're heavy, these fridge things. It's um, it's got my midlift down this thing and it's empty. There's no in it. 
All delivery drivers must report to goods in office. Office closed. Sounds about right. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that and we'll run with it. Staff and visitor entrance. So basically, anybody. If you're not staff and you're not a visitor, what are you? Wearing a face covering is mandatory in all colleague areas. Oh, man, oh man, oh man. Right, one minute, let me turn this front camera off. That has been recording. Go on, son. You're off. What are you beeping at? Shut up. Welcome, please select a language. English, please. Goods in. Calling, Dale. Shut up. Let's see what I get told now. confirm I have read and understood this I am a fast reader I confirm that I have safety shoes I understand I never pull a trailer on a red light I confirm I've read a copy of the health and safety instructions and I abide by them I have other delivery um, I have one or more book I've no booking reference have I have I got a book DC no D DC right so I've not got a DO then Oh, can I just talk to someone, please, for crying out loud? Two seven. Let's try that. Two seven. One. Two. Two. Four. One. Oh, one. Eight. Three. Six. Confirm. Position on trailer. D E. Position nearest the rear. Please check what nearest the rear. What? Booking reference to nearest the rear position. What the hell's that mean when I'm in Jerusalem? Scan booking reference using the scan. Add another. I've got, I've got to do it. No, that's my collection. Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what. There is no air set of floor for crying out. Right, go away. Shoot, I'm off. Can you please answer the phone? There we go. Let's see. Because that just failed miserably. Hello. Hello, sir. I'm from uh, WS Transportation. I have brought an empty trailer up for you, and I've got to Lovely. take one Thank back. Thank you very much. Is it for me personally, or just one you're leaving here? Well, you can have it personally if you want. Not especially, no. <laughs> Um, I've got to leave one, and I've got to pick a full one up and take it back to uh, Tesco in Witness. Yeah, okay, if you find a shunt, I don't know which one's which. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Okay. Cheers. Door is open. No shit. Right, so... I'm not gonna lie, it's easier at secure offence. With um what's his name? Bloody hell, what's that what, what, what bloke called? I can't remember what bloke's called now, I forgot his name. Bald head, tattoos, big lad. What's he called? No idea. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a good job I'm not a vampire in here, else I'd be frazzled. Right, so trailer, massive trailer, were. Where would you like said trailer to be placed? Not in there. Hopefully. Oh, look at all these people just sat there. Sat there with the feet up. <laughs> oh, this is a different kind of work, this is, isn't it? Watch my trailer be loaded. No drive, you're ready. You just drop it and go. Great, thanks. Is that a, is that a shunter? Is that what, a, what does a shunter look like? Am I just driving around like not knowing anything? I've not even seen a shunted trailer. A shunty. Oh, please. 
please don't be a dead end or, or, or something. Or else I will make a right furry of myself. Eddie Stober, Amber May. That's a nice name. Some of them have really daft names, don't they? You know, like, uh, like, Gilletta Muscapari or something. And you just think, no, you wouldn't, would you? Where the hell am I going now? So let's just say that they're all they were all loaded trailers. Let's let's just let's just call it what it is. They're loaded, these are empty. So I'm going down here. There's just trailers like absolutely everywhere. I mean how many trailers does Tesco really need? Good grief. Right, I need a shunter! I need me a shunter! I found one. Right. Right, what conversation will come out of this? Shunters! Stop there, please, mate. One of yous, please, stop. Oh, they're both looking at me. That probably means I am lost. Yeah, he's coming over. I'm guessing I'm in wrong place. Yes. Forty-six. I need to take a full one back. Right. So I have to put it on bay 46. And then I have to go into the goods out and wait a minute wait a wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute do i oh i don't want to go out of this gate oh shh. right now i'm lost what am i going what was what am i going to do now we're going to do another lap of honor because that's an in gate we're doing a lap of honor bloody hell fight gets tighter than I'd like down here as well. Oh, don't, please don't tell me this is a way out. See now, you might be thinking, Didi, why are you dragging this video on so long, mate? Why are, you, why are you showing me this? Well, it's just in case you come to a regional disaster centre. It's just so you know. It, you know, it, if you've never been to one, it's like, I'm guessing it's like if, if someone comes to secure a fence or whatever, they might be like, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this is what I'm showing you now, you know. I'm showing you if you come into an RDC. They're bloody confusing, man. Oh, if you come to them all, to all, all <laughs> if you come to if you come to them all the time, then you're all right. But if you don't, and you're new around here, like moi, it's just, it's just a jungle, and I, I'm just a chimpanzee in a jungle here. Probably pretty soon going to get eaten by lions, or laughed at when I try blindsiding onto bay 46. Watch it now, there'll be a hissing truck on either side of it as well. But at least you'll see me reversing onto a bay for the first time, so we should have a right laugh at that. Because reverse, reversing onto bay, you actually need. Um, a little bit of accuracy. <laughs> Not one of Deedee's best attributes, is it? <laughs> right, Bay 46. Where's 46? That's no number in it, so I don't know what that is. 47. Oh, for crying out loud. 47. 46. I need I need fuck turn round. I need fuck. He, he's definitely not a shunter. I could have turned round though. I should have turned round there then. That. Why? Isn't that just typical? The only bear that I need didn't have a number on it. Typical. Man. Can I turn round here? See, I'm scared now. I don't know my turning circle. I'm going for this here. I'm having it here. Come on. Come on, son. Let's be having you. Let's go round again. 
insert five million comments. You can't turn around like that in an RDC, you plant pot. It's illegal. Oh, Mr. Fox is coming out now. This is the man I thought was a shunter. It isn't a shunter. Right, come on, what are you doing now, Joe? Oh, my, my bear did have a number on it. My bad. I'm guessing as well. I'm guessing. I need to open my doors. What do you think? Good grief, I don't know what he's doing, but he ain't getting in there like that. Bloody hell, fire I up. I do a better job than that. Right, where's bear 46? 49, 48, 47. You have got to be joking me. Bear eating corner. Holy smokes. <laughs> well, this is going to take me a few shunts, this is. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to show you this now. I don't even want to show you because this is just shocking. Oh, for crying out. There's not enough room for me and my pissing trailer in here. Oh, for God's sake. This ain't even funny. This is not even funny. I'm going to have the piss taken right out of me now, I'm telling you. So, I'm going to go and open my doors. I'm going to put the camera on windscreen and we're going to have a right frigging laugh at the... Because I'm telling you now, this is going to take me a while there. Because there ain't no room. Oh, I've got to get on that bear that sticks out. So, you know, the lines aren't that big. And I've only got that room. Damn, that's scary. Dead good that were. I probably well, I'm that well impressed with that. That was well cool. But I, I just hope I've um, I just hope I'm in right place because I've just hit wall and I'm, I'm guessing that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Could you imagine if I'm actually parked it where right now? <laughs> anyway, we're in. Um I'll I'll go and see what I've got to do and then I'll go and pick another trailer up. Alright! We're on the move, we're hooked up, we are signed out, we're dashed in and dashed out and weighed and bloody all sorts of malarkeys, whatever you have to do here, good grief. So, I couldn't record the split coupling because, well, two reasons. One, there was loads of people everywhere, there's shunters, there's subcontractors, there's a fridge mechanic, there's all sorts of people knocking about. 
and I don't think I'm supposed to record the visuals of around here anyway. I don't think I'm allowed to. Uh, and secondly, to be honest with you, I didn't really want to record it and get it wrong because I've never done one before. So I actually thought, you know what, I'll just do it first. Say goodbye to Lewis. Tatty by me old friend. Um, so, yeah, that's another reason I didn't record it. Um, I didn't want to get it wrong and either A, get shouted at, or B, um, do it wrong and inform people of the wrong procedure. So I'm sure someone like uh, Ned Flanders, I mean, Ned Kelly, sorry. I'm sure he can uh, show you how to do it when he gets back. So, I've been given a pin number of a very attractive blonde lady in there. Enter your code. So I'm going to enter my code. Please wait. Code accepted. Happy days. Front camera. Assemble. Oh my god. How stupid did that sound? My lord, deedy lad. Right, so get away from curb, lad. Get away from curb, lad. You don't want to be driving on curb with this big humongous bleeding thing, do it? Right, so. We're off skis, man. We're on the mooch again. It's all, um, I, do you know, I didn't know that Eddie Stobart did all of Tesco's. I really didn't know. All of that in there is all Eddie Stobart's. I really didn't know. Look at that. It's just a floating head. <laughs> just a floating head. Because they were in camo. Come on, man. God's sake, where have you been? I'm getting a lot of wheel spin, considering... Well, what if I just... I've just waved myself here. Anyone good at maths? I've just waved... Actually, I, no, I didn't write it down. She nicked it off me. I did write it down, but she nicked it off me. Um, six and a half ton on front. Three on mid. Six, seven and a half on back. Six and a half on back. And then seven and a half on all three back axles. It was somewhere around there. If anyone's good at maths, work that out. Six and a half, three. Six and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half. And I don't know for a fact someone's there now like that. 47 ton, you're overweight, you fat shit. Sorry. I'm not all the way here, as I once have told you. 7, 14, 21, 21, 28, 35. Well underway. Well happy. Do you know what is bizarre about doing this kind of work? I have absolutely no idea what's on the back. I've no idea if it's secure. I mean, for all I know, I could have like things rolling around up road in a minute. I mean, I've checked the seal. It's got a seal on it. And obviously my back doors are shut. But it's bizarre not knowing what's on the back of my truck. It's absolutely crazy. I've never, uh, I've never been in that predicament before. Oh, I've still got Red Bull left. As if that's what I need, more energy. I'm already off my rock up. I've got 55 minutes to find somewhere for have a break. Back up A1. Do you think I can make it to... Um, what's that last services on? Thing you called... That really gives it away, doesn't it? That's a big clue, that is. What's, um, what's this? Oh, God, he, he bro broke down it. Best of places, there, like. Don't worry, mate. It's pointless pointing to me. I can see I'm not, I'm not going to write you off, lad. Uh, well, what's that last service he's called? Not that said more. It's other one. Oh, I can't really remember. I'm going. I give up waiting. No, I'm not going. We're just wheel spinning everywhere. I'll sit here and wait. I'll sit here and wait for the next three weeks. There's a car brought down there, that's why I'm in a stupid place, mate. Oh, he's letting me go. Oh, you legend, thank you so much. You see, I've got wheel spinning problems. I've got more horsepower than I care to shake a stick at because I am in 605. I am in my baby. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Not as if he could hear me like, but you know. Oh, come on, will you put some power down for crying out loud? Good grief. 
Put some rubber on tarmac, man, will you? Ah, uh, forgot what I was saying there as well. No idea, can't remember. I can't remember what I was talking about and be before Mr. Um, Audi Man broke down. Eh, uh, well, tis what tis. Uh, have I got anything else for to tell you? Um, I've got a video for last week. I mean, it's it's Sunday today. I recorded twice last week. I've recorded today. Recorded like three times in seven days. That's ridiculous for me, isn't it? I don't know what I'm going to do after this. They might send me home after this. How cool would that be? Well, it wouldn't be cool. It'd be really boring because I've no fault to do. Come back and work again tomorrow. But it'd still be cool. They'd be like, yeah, you could go home now. Like, really? Like, working for Eddie's. Might come back more often. <laughs> another truck broke down. Crying out. Well, not another truck, but another something broke down. Oh, that's a, that's a poor owner-operator, isn't it? He's having a bad Christmas. He's just forked out loads of money for his kids and everything and his family, and now he's brought down there. Engine's gone up, muck. Shame. These are huge, these trailers, man. I'm not even lying. They're absolutely ginormous. And I've come out I've come out this morning without having my multivitamin, without having my vitamin C, without having my uh, heartburn tablet. And I'm drinking Red Bull. Get well soon, Mercedes. Get well soon, son. All best. All best for 2021, son. Does this axle really need to be down? I'm wheel spinning like a Jeffrey here. I think I can put it up. I can, yeah, because if... I'm going to put it up and see it. He might say, ah, overweight, shout at me. No. Lift axle's up. So I'm not overweight. Hmm. I need traction. We need grip. Grip is good. So, um, well... Broken down, broken down, lift axles up, big trailer, 16 foot, God knows what, massive, huge. Um, we've been given, a, given, given directions on how to get back uh, to avoid them things that trains go over. Look at that, we've got traction now. Love it, love it. And I ain't got a clue what's on back of here. Could you imagine if I was carrying a load of frozen sheep or pigs now? Oh, 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 that'd kick me when you're down, wouldn't it? Good grief. Oh, could you imagine I get back and they just say, just help us unload this trailer, mate. And I've got like 246 sheep on back, all mullered. <laughs> Be like, no, I'm taking it back. I don't like it. Anyway, I'm going. Um... I've got to fire. I've got 50 minutes, 51 minutes to find somewhere to have a break. I think I'm going to stop at the services on A1. I think if I can fit under canopy at Shell Garage. But last thing I want to do is take Garage with me. Oh, my camera's fell as well. So I'll call it quits there because I'm not playing with my camera while I'm up road. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Ciao for now. Right, finally. My lord, I'm sure this taco machine's broken, you know. I mean, it's not, obviously, I can't say that because that's just highly illegal. But, there's no there, man. It's empty. Shush. I've been sat here for what seems like forever and an absolute day. So, I'm at uh, Ferry Bridge Services. I've just had a 45. Are you crazy, bro? I want some of that stuff you're, you're smoking. Fucking dog, you're not even supposed to be in here. You're a car. Fudge. Anyway. Yeah, I seem to have been sat there forever. And uh, I don't even know how to get out of this place. I'm not going to lie. I've no idea. Shut up, man. There's no door. I I'm hoping it's up here. If it's not, then I'm doing some hula hoops. I'm doing some loop de loops. Never been in here before. Oh, I can see a sign that says exit. Don't 
on some of this, are they? Petrol station. I don't need petrol from here. I don't need fuel either. Oh, right. So I do know my way. Right. Get out of here. Yeah, I seem to have been sat there forever. And it's literally been 46 minutes. As always, 46 on the dot. Um, I even went in, I went in there and I got myself a, a large caramel latte Costa thing and I checked grinder. No happening on there. And it still seems like I've been there forever. Oh, come on, will you for crying out loud? So, um, Tom Denham has given me some, I hope I said your name right then, he's given me some uh, information that I forgot about. I've got to go all the way around here. Best put my indicator on then, I suppose, on it. It'll help. Um, I forgot. I got told to put my mid lift down when I picked up this humongous trailer that I've just put a picture of on Instagram. Follow me. Um, yeah, they said put your put your mid lift down because it's big. I said, right, okay. And uh, when I was stuck down there, I lifted it up. If you remember. So I could get some traction. I needed traction. Uh, so I've put it back down now. I don't. I, I don't know what difference it makes to my height completely. Does it put me a couple of inches under, or what? I don't know. But we're on the move anyway. We're going. Uh, we're rocking. We're just joining the M62 towards Manchester, War. and I'm going to get back at two o'clock. So I might. Uh, I wonder if they'll let me go home after this. What do you think? I think they'll let me go. They're like, right, that's all we've got for you, drive. See ya. Be nice. I'll be in gym for four o'clock. Pounding some iron edges. It's uh, back day today. I'm not doing any deadlifts though. I've had a bad back for the past like three or four days. I don't know why. I just, I think it's that mattress. The mattress is giving me really bad back ache. So I might not do any deadlifts, I might just do bent over barbell rows, single arm dumbbell rows, um, seated cable rows, close grip lap pull downs, and then finish off with as many reps and as many sets as I can do at chin ups. And then I'm going to do some bicep exercises as well today. Some biceps in there. Because What's up with you, man? It was the experience of being a big fish in a small pond. Was it really? <laughs> yeah! What an experience. Uh, am I coming off here? He says it at M60. What's my sat nav doing? What? My sat nav thinks I'm up there. It doesn't even know that this is a road. What are you doing? What are you doing, satellite navigation? Anyway, I can't believe I'm actually looking at my sat nav for the M62. I tell you, steering wheel attendant, that's all I am, steering wheel attendant. Right, so we've got an hour and 33 minutes of driving to get back to Tesco at Witness. I'll catch the guys back up then, uh, when we might have to uh, stick it on another bay. Should be a barrel of laughs, I'm not gonna get lucky twice in one day, I'm telling you. <laughs> catch up with you guys well in a split second. So now we're in 45 minutes later or so. Let me uh, let me just clean my screen for you so that I can see out of it. There we go. Is that better for you? Good. We've just come off the M62. We're back in a uh, we're back in witness. Oh man, that that Jandy Wright guy. He's been there since before Christmas Day. Paul Bloke. Well, don't know if it's Paul Bloke or not. He might be what he's. He might be. I'll be honest, it's odd, eh? he, might, he might not have any family or anything. He might be earning a fortune, sat there. But yeah, um, he was there when I went picking the kids up on 23rd. So he's been there for four days now. That must be worse than being in jail, like being confined to a box like that. Bloody hell, fire. I feel like like when knocking on his door asking him if he fancies coming to my house for a brew or something. Even though he probably won't be able to understand me. Oh no 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 bro bro no no okay might mean something else in Romanian or whatever he's from <laughs> Imagine if it means Anki Panky Oh yeah I bro 
I like brewski. Anyway, we're going right off topic. We ain't got a topic. What are you going on about, Deedy lad? You've just come off more so What are you on about? I had a... <laughs> I had a murder at Art Said More. I swear to God, I do it every single time I go there. Oh, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just brain dead, I tell you. Um, I was on 19% fuel. So I thought, right, Art Said More. Because, um... Barry Bridge is BP, in it? So... Thought I said more, go there, we'll get some fuel. Uh, I might as well top up with Adblue while I'm there. So I drives in and I follow his road all the way around. Follow his road round, follow his road round. And where does the road lead to? It leads to the bloody exit, man. It don't lead to fuel pumps. To get to the fuel pumps on Hart said more. South? No. North, east, east, south, west, west. Hart said more, west. I said more heading towards Manchester. There you go. Whatever that is. You're all going to tell me it's east, you idiot. I always get me north and me south and me east and me west wrong. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. <laughs> I drove straight past fuel pump, straight to exit. I had put, <laughs> I had put my hazard lights on. And reverse all the way back up. <laughs> Much to the amusement of a couple of cars that had sat watching me. <laughs> I mean, I did it first time. Listen. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. It is quite quiet. But this has got two... This has got two brakes. It's got an engine brake or a retarder or whatever you call it. Then it's got an exhaust brake. And the exhaust brake whistles. It goes... And it sounds awesome. It sounds brilliant. I didn't realise until every time I, I took my foot off accelerator, I kept slowing down and I was like, well, why, why is it doing this? And I realised... Oh, it's so, it's so good, man. Oh! It's got a, a five-stage retarder on it. Oh yeah, I love it man. It just chugs. Listen to it. Oh, it stopped doing it now. It goes It just sounds awesome. Yeah. Bloody hell, fire and brimstone. That wouldn't you miss her in a snowstorm. Grief. She was about as high vis pink as you could get. <laughs> what the hell, fire? What if you come as love a marshmallow or what? <laughs> oh dear. What was it? What were I? Oh, I had to reverse. Yeah, I had to reverse. I had to drive like kind of out, out of the services a little bit, and then reverse all the way back up to where the truck park is to get to the petrol pumps because I, I desperately needed fuel. I mean, nineteen percent could have probably got me to Baghdad for all I know. Um, but still, uh, I didn't want to risk it for a biscuit. Do you know what I mean? So I reversed up and filled up. 538 quid. Cost me. Sorry, Nigel, about your money, like. <laughs> right, where am I going here now? Right, I'm not in this lane. I've never been this way in my life. I live up there. I go left up there, and that's where I live. So this is new to me, this. Three milligrams of West Bank. Okay. Okay. Well, we don't need indicators round here, you're alright. Not so worry, son. Oh, mind powers. Mind powers. Uh, need to go right. So we're I think I think we're we're near the depot now. The the uh, regional disaster centre as this says. West Bank only. I'm guessing I'm. Are you. Are you taking the. What the frig? I did this this morning. Me sat now. Oh, God, man. Al, if you're watching this, this is what I mean about this sat nav. Right? It doesn't know that this is here. It's just told me to take this exit, and this exit's going to take me straight down there. 
quite obviously that is incorrect with a 16 foot pleading box on or a 16 foot 4 box or whatever it may be the last thing I really want to do is be getting lost do you know what I'm saying oh yeah yeah yeah. I'll turn round in there shall I sat now you flipping dump oh flip and flap a flop right we're turning down here that's all it says. It says we can go down here. Only time ever <laughs> that a truck this big has been down here. <laughs> tell you, it's only Didi, isn't it? It is only. You're go are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna stop? You are gonna stop. Good. Very good. Ready, ready, good. Very, very good. Merci beaucoup. God, she, she does not seem happy. <laughs> I, I hope you saw. I hope you saw that reaction on that front cam. Then she was just like, "I don't get paid to sit here and let you go." <laughs> DL fireman. Eesh. Right. So this is. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful, love. Be careful, love. The old fire and brimstone. Right. I think I'm on the road that I should have been on originally now. At least I know that when I screw up again in future, at least I know I can uh, I can do that. Now, that person on that push iron then just looked at me as if to say, you really shouldn't be here. Should I be here? I should be here, shouldn't I? Of course I should be here. It's the only way to it. I hope. Yeah, man. Stobart's container. Of course. Do you know Bridgie's still skirming with this on back? Oof. 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 That noise. Oof. Don't like it. What? What? It's there. I come out of there. Tesco vehicles, supplier vehicles. Left. Left and then right. That's where we're going. Another one. Don't, we, don't, we don't need indicators. Don't worry, bro. I guess. Fine. I were. Right. I am a supplier vehicle, aren't I? I am supplying Tesco vehicles and car parks. Yes. I am supplying. He's parked in an absolutely fantastic place, that block has. Right, so I'll end the front camera now. And we shall continue into the disaster centre itself. Where we have to go into one of these stupid computer things again, I think. Hello, good afternoon, hi. Door is open. Thank you, thank you very much. So now, they ask for motor goods in, and they ask for tell them that that's getting a big massive whopping trailer up. Oh my lord, it's freezing, man. And then, I think we're done for the day because it's ten past two. And I'm not going to get much done in four hours, am I? Because I ain't going Doncaster and back again. Let's, let's put my beacons on, just so I stand out from crowd. Oh, wait a minute. I go to Goods Inn this time, don't I? Not Goods Out. I think. Is that correct? I don't know. Right, so, instead of uh, dilly-dallying around here again, like um, I did earlier on, I'll shut up because I have been waffling on for near on 11 minutes, uh, and it, it has literally been about absolutely nothing. So, I will shut up, and I will... Um... <sighs> Damn, fire and brimstone. I'll shut up, and I'll let you go, and uh, I'll come back to you either when I'm reversing on a bit, or when I've finished. 
talk to you in a bit, people. Right, uh, we're going on to bay one, four, three, and I think this one, this one's going to be quite a bit easier than uh, the last one. I think. I, I say, I say that because it's there. So I, I am saying that, but it, it might not be because, well, you know what I'm like. But uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to just hop out and take the ABS line off because I've been told that the ABS line, it locks the rear wheels when you're trying to reverse and it stops you from backing right up to the bay or something. That's what I got told when I was doing it. So I'll flip the camera around, I'll take the ABS line off and we'll try and get on this bay the first time. Never going to happen, but we'll try. I'm happy with that, uh, two shunts or whatever to get on, but we didn't hit anything, we managed it, not a problem, don't worry, don't matter how many time, how many shunts you take or anything, it really doesn't matter, as long as you get it on without hitting anything, that's the main thing, and that's why I leave these things in the vlog, you know what I mean, if it would have took me four or five or six shunts, I would have left it in, because it really doesn't matter, as long as you get it in without hitting anything, that's the main thing. So I'm going to leave this vlog here because all I'm doing now is uncoupling and then going back to the yard and I've only done, I started at five, uh, 10 to 6 this morning, call it 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 9 hours. That ain't best is it? But he's just asked me to go back again tomorrow. He said come in, come back tomorrow. I went right, okay then. So I'm here again tomorrow, I'm doing this. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you have made it to the end, then please click that subscribe button and that little bell because only 5% of my views are coming from notifications which is absolutely bizarre go and follow me on instagram at dd2012 and drop me a comment if you so wish to thank you so much for watching stay safe in this zombie apocalypse remember everywhere you go take your shotgun my name's dd i'm just a dickhead that drives a, a truck and records himself doing so i nearly did it without you know and that guy in there that guy in that truck he just come up to me and went oh yeah that lad that's famous i went no i'm not <laughs> well that's me i'm out of here Take care, peace out, much love. See you later.